Hi everybody, welcome to the Grand Opera House here in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. We are here for the 2019 to 2020 kickoff season. I'm so excited we're here to see what shows might be coming, what will be coming. I am really excited. I hope Mamma Mia comes. I doubt it because it's a big show and I just want a community theater to do it. Everybody's doing it lately. So we are... We have a few minutes to spare, so I'm going to show you guys around downtown Oshkosh. If you're having dinner, eat with us. If you're not, just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Standalone special events. They're not part of the subscription season, but, uh, but they are they're standalone. The first <gasps> is a uh... Thank you. <laughs> the Four Phantoms is a giant show. How many of you actually saw them when they were here last? I night? did. <laughs> Yeah. Me. The Four Phantoms is our Hamilton. Yes. The Four Phantoms is Broadway for the Grand. It's it's a giant show. They're used to playing 2,000 seat arenas, but they have they have managed to compress kind of like shaking a can of coke. They have compressed all that energy in, in, into this. It takes three nights to do an audience large enough for for their show. The, the four gentlemen, uh, uh, Frank Ambrosio, Brent Barrett, John, uh, uh, Kieran Sheehan, and John Cudia, uh, combined have played the role of the Phantom over 6,000 times. <laughs> Frank Ambrosio alone has done 2,600 performances as the Phantom. Um, there's a lot of Broadway there, but there's also Las Vegas, and Toronto, and London, these guys in San Francisco. They played the Phantom in, in, in so many different places. Their special guest, Kaylee Borges, um, it literally right now is playing the role of Christine on Broadway. <laughs> when we have the show, she'll play the, the, the Majestic on Tuesday night, hop on a plane, be on stage in Oshkosh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, the 26th, <laughs> yes. That's about as Broadway as it can get. So we're looking forward to it. Here's a little preview of the Four Phantoms. <laughs> Gave a call and I, I 
asked Frankie and her parents to come visit. And I thought, what if it was time maybe to give this young woman a showcase performance right here on stage at the Grand? To my delight, they were as excited about the opportunity as I was. She's got a group of musicians she's going to work with. And uh, we're going to have a great, uh, a great night, Frankie Moscato and friends, November 2nd. Here's just a little touch of her voice. I still Lightly, um, they got another music. They got to play the music. What they look like is not as important as getting the music right. But if they happen to look and evoke an image of the artist, well, that's just a bonus. James Garner, not the actor, the musician, um, has a show, a tribute to Johnny Cash. And um, James has the look. So that's half the battle. The question is, is, does he have the voice? He doesn't kid himself. You know, Johnny's fam famous uh, line, uh, hello, I'm Johnny Cash, becomes, hello, we love Johnny Cash. He's not pretending to be what he's not. But oh, my goodness, when he opens his mouth to sing. Hello, we love Johnny Cash. <laughs> Off the street. 
And um, you never knew necessarily that they were singers. You never knew that they were performers. Some of them are. And um, what we have in common is that they're willing to get on stage and learn song and dance to, uh, to raise funds for the grant. In the past, we've had state representatives, we've had the city council and the mayor, um, and uh, we've had the district attorney, and, and, and as well as uh, captains of industry and, and Joe down the street. Um, and it's going to be that way this year. It'll be great fun. It's going to be two nights in January. What else are you going to do? Uh, it's January in, in Oshkosh. We're going to celebrate Oshkosh on Broadway. And it, uh, all the funds raised from that, uh, from that event go to fund educational and outreach programs. So it's a very important and fun night. Uh, and who knows? Uh, if you're sitting in the shower, be careful because I might be out recruiting. <laughs> so, uh, and in this, you absolutely can shout out people. We're looking for a way that, you know, if we decide that uh, Greg Burnett's going to perform, and, uh, <laughs> but we'll give Greg the option to write a check to not perform. <laughs> so, or we'll give Heidi a check, the option to write a check to not have uh, Greg perform. We'll give you all kind of, we'll, we'll find a way. Because it's all for the kids, and it's all for the, uh, for the outreach, and so we're pretty shameless about our fun and fundraising for Oshkosh on Broadway. This is a nice twist. <gasps> this is the uh, Menominee Nation Arena presenting the show oh my God. here at the Grand, which is going to be kind Please. of fun. The show is Avalania. I know some of you have seen this group before. This is the group live from London, uh, and uh, they are the ABBA tribute artists, uh, in my book, oh anyway. My God. Um, and, uh, and they pull it off not only with the sound, but with the look and the feel. It's two nights in January. Uh, don't miss it. This is Abba Mania. <laughs> Alright guys, it's done now. I'm excited to see Abomania, the four phantoms, and Frankie Moscato. Who are you excited to see, Kayla? 
freaking Moscato. Yeah, I think that I think that should be good too. Now, please leave down below in the comments what you're excited for if you were to come to a show here at the Grand Opera House. Well, I will see you guys at Halloween Horror Nights. Bye.